Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Saints of God, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we are so grateful, so glad. It is a delight to be with each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Good day to all of you. Fear not. He holds it all together. Amen. Fear not for the Lord our God. He holds it all together. And no matter what you're going through right now, no matter what is happening, there is no windstorm. There is no pestilence, no famine. There's no catastrophe that's going to be able to stop you from what he has planned for you. For he holds everything together by the power of his outstretched arm. And we're going to talk about that today. We're going to be in Colossians chapter 1. So if you have your Bibles, then go ahead and turn to Colossians chapter 1 because I'm going to be, I'm going to be in, this, in this chapter. I may jump around to a few other scriptures, but we are going to be in this chapter here today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, you're good. Jesus, you're good. He is good. Amen. Amen. All the time. All the time. So Colossians chapter one, I want to read verse uh, 17 and it says that, and he is before all things and in him, all things consist. Now this is in the new King James version in him, all things consist. But if you read it in the NIV version, it says in him, all things hold together, all things hold together. Sometimes when you read the scriptures in different translations, you can get a better picture of what the author was trying to write and the, the, the overall feel of the, of, the, of the word. So he is before all things and in him all things consist. In him he holds all things together. Amen. All things are being held together. If you turn to Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. It says here that all things are held together by the power of his word. All things are, this is why we, we speak. This is why we talk about his word. This is why we, we read the Bible. This is why we, we recognize the, the, the power that is in his word. In, in Hebrews 1, 3, it says the son, meaning Jesus, right? Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. The son, it says, is the radiance of God's glory. And the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. I'm going to read that again. Sustaining. He is sustaining all things by his powerful word. Right? Amen. So by the power of his word, by his powerful word, his word is powerful. It means it's full of power. Amen. It is full of power. So he's sustaining. He's holding. He's holding all things together by the power of his word. He's holding all things together in him. Amen. He's holding it all together because he is the word. He is the word. So if Jesus is the word and he's holding all things together by the powerful word, his powerful word, he's holding all things together because they consist all things consist together because of him. Hallelujah. Do you understand then because of this, we understand we don't have to fear. He holds it all together and we are in him. And if he's in us and we're in him, then we know that his outstretched arm is not too short for him to save, to rescue. So therefore there is no windstorm. There is no pestilence. There's no famine. There's no catastrophe. There's no virus. There's no plague. There's no sudden attack. There's no assignment that's going to be able to stand against Against you, church of God, because God is powerful. He is the almighty, powerful, living, active word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, this gets me excited. This gets me excited because I recognize something. God is faithful to his own. God is faithful. He is faithful to you. He is faithful to me. He is a faithful God. Amen. Say it with me. He is a faithful God. The power of his word, the word of his power. So in the New King James, so in the NIV, it says he's holding all things together. Hebrews 1 thing. Well, excuse me, Hebrews 1 3. He is holding all things together, sustaining them by his powerful word. That's the NIV. In the New King James, he says he upholds all things by the word of his power. By the word of his power. The word of his power is the power of his word. He is his word. God is powerful. Jesus is the word. He's holding all things together by his powerful outstretched arm. 
Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. You know, and in, in Acts 17, 28, Acts 17, 28 says, for in him, and this is speaking to you and I, in him, we live, we move, and we have our being. In Christ, in Christ, the one that is his powerful word, we live, we move, and we have our being. We live and we move, we live in Christ. All things are being held together. So therefore, I ask you, what, what are you fearful of? What is, what is, um, What's, what's happening in your life? What are you recognizing? What are you focusing on? Because whatever you focus on, whatever you behold, you become. So we're going to behold our maker. We're going to behold the one that has, has given us all things for life and godliness. Amen? So I'm back in Colossians chapter 1 now. And I want to read to you a little bit from Colossians chapter 1. And I'm going to be reading here, uh, probably going to start in verse 9. Probably going to start in verse 9. And it says, for this reason, we also, since the day we heard of it, did not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. I decree that over you, that you increase. I decree that over you, you're increasing in the knowledge of God. You are increasing even right now in the knowledge of God, that the, that the God, the all-powerful God, the, the God of power, the word of power, sustaining all things by the power of his word is increasing in you. Decree it over yourself. He's increasing in me. I am not shrinking back. I'm moving forward. You're not shrinking back. You're moving forward. You're leaping forward. Come on. He's causing you to leap forward. Amen. Amen. He's giving you hind speed in high places. He's giving you hind speed in high places. So, and then it continues in verse 11. He says, strengthened with all might. You are being strengthened with all might according to his glorious power. There it is again. According to his glorious power, the power of his word, the word of his power, his glorious power. You are being strengthened. That's why when we read our word, we're being strengthened. When we're in church, we're being strengthened. Amen. When we're in prayer, we're being strengthened. You're being strengthened. You're not weak. You're strong in Christ. You're strong in Christ. Let the weak say, I am strong. Strong in Christ. Amen. So strengthen with all might, according to his glorious power, for all patience and with long suffering, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us. Hallelujah. Come on, church, you've been qualified. You've been qualified to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light of Christ. It's, it's in the light of Christ. You've been qualified. Amen. Christ has qualified you. Christ has qualified you. Amen. Powerful, powerful. So because of this, we're going to continue on here. He, verse 13, he has delivered you. Come on, the word says he's delivered us, but I'm going to make it in first person. He has delivered me. Make it, put it in first person. He has delivered me. He has delivered you. He has delivered me in the power, from the power of darkness and transferred or, or conveyed or translated us, me, into the kingdom of the son of his love. He's transferred you. He's, he's caused you to be conveyed. He's, he's called, he has delivered you from the power of darkness and he's transferred you into the kingdom of his son. Powerful. Come on, come on, come on. We're moving forward because he is amazing. He is so good. The God of glory is here with you. The God of glory is present. The God of glory knows all that you need. The God of glory is an ever present God. The God of glory will never leave you. He will never forsake you. The God of glory is on your side. He is with you. He is with you. He is with you. Hallelujah. Standing firm in truth. God is the same. The word says in Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ is the same. So if he is holding all things together, all things, yes, even this virus, all things, yes, even sickness and disease, all things, yes, even the financial crisis, all things. If he is holding all things together by the power of his word, and all the answers are found in Christ, right? Because in him, we live, we move, and we have our being in him, in Christ. That's why we don't fear what man can do. We don't fear what, what assignment, what plague. We don't fear what current event. We don't fear what politics, what politicians, what the media, what the news. We don't fear. We fear God alone. We are not going to bow to man. We're not going to bow and we're not going to be, we're not going to be, uh, 
given over to the tactics of man, control tactics of men. Instead, we're going to stand firm and say, I believe in the Son of God. I believe in the power of God's resurrection. I believe that his arm is not too short, that he cannot save. I believe that God is consistent. He is eternal. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. For he is the Alpha and he is the Omega. He is our soon coming King. He is the beginning and he is the end. He is the great I am, the great I am, the first and the last. Amen. He is the first and the last. So he's the all powerful God is on is, is with us. He is with us and he upholds us. No catastrophe will be able to come against you. We stand in prayer, church of God. We stand in prayer and we stand in faith. Say, I'm standing in faith. I will not stand in fear. I will not allow the tactics of the enemy to come and plague my mind. You're not going to allow the tactics of the enemy to come and to plague your mind for you've been bought with a price, the blood of Jesus Christ. For Jesus said most assuredly before Abraham was, I, I am. He said, I am. I am before Abraham. So what is he saying here? He is saying that even before creation of time, Jesus didn't just show up on the scene and go, well, gee, he came in the New Testament. Before Abraham was, I am. He was with God at the creation of time. He is, always was, and always will be because he is God. He is God. Amen? We believe in a trinity. We believe there is one God, but we believe in the trinity, the powerful, powerful God, almighty God. And so because we know that all things are held together by the power of his word, we shall not fear what man could do. We shall not fear what they could, they could destroy the body. Amen. So what? Because you know what? We stand firm with the, with God almighty. He can destroy the body and the soul. We stand firm with God almighty because he is with us. He is for you. He is for you, not against you. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody needs to shout. Amen. Somebody needs to shout. Amen. Jesus, we're standing together. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord, my God. We're, we, we're in love with the God who's in love with us. We're in love, not in fear. We're in love with the God who's in love with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you. We bless you. It's powerful when we think about this. He's holding all things together. So that situation that you're going through, that doc, that diagnosis that you may have received, that difficulty in your with your marriage, with your son, with your daughter, God's got this. We, we're standing firm. God's got this. Amen. He's got. He's holding all things by the power of His Word. Hallelujah. I bless the name of the Lord. Let, let's bless the, let's just bless his name. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. We give you all praise, all glory, all glory to, belongs to you. All glory belongs to you. Father, we lift up the name of Jesus right now. We thank you, Father God, for the powerful, powerful hand of God. You said you uphold all things by the power of your word, the power of your word, the word of power. Jesus, you are the word. We stand firm in your word. We stand firm in faith. We love you, Father God. We bless your name. We know, Lord, Lord God, that you are good all the time and all the time you are good and you are faithful. And so we stand firm and we decree right now, Lord God, that no matter what people are going through right now, we know that you are consistent. You are our ever present help in time of need. Father, for in you, we live, we move, and we have our being. So in the name of Jesus Christ right now, we decree, Father God, we decree that the blessing of God shall overtake and, and they and will over override any assignment. It's overtaking you right now. The blessing of God is overtaking you right now. For the glory of God is present right now. His hand is, is able to heal. His hand is the outstretched arm right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing over you. I decree right now, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Come on, say it like you mean it. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. But every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, come on, every tongue that rises up against you in judgment you shall decree it you shall decree it's condemned you shall you shall cancel the effects right now you shall overthrow throw it by the blood
blood of the lamb. I decree that over you by the blood of the lamb, by the blood of the lamb. Right now, you are victorious in Christ. You are victorious in Christ because of the blood of the, of the lamb. Come on, we trust in the Lord. We trust in the Lord, our God, with all of our hearts. We lean not on our own understanding. In all of our ways, we're going to acknowledge him that he is good. We're going to acknowledge him that he is faithful. We're going to acknowledge him that he is present. We're going to acknowledge him that he is for us, that he is with us, and he is not against us. And in all of our ways, we're going to acknowledge him. And he, his word says that he shall direct your path. He shall direct your path. That's Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. He is directing your path. And all we're doing is we're trusting in the Lord with all of our might. We're trusting in the Lord with all of our heart, with everything that is within us. Not in fear, but in faith. Say, not in fear, but in faith. I'm standing. We're standing. We're coming together. The army of God marching together. We're rising up, rising up in the strength of the Almighty, the powerful hand of God. We shall not fear, but we walk in faith. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father God. Hallelujah. For you have delivered us from the power of darkness. Colossians 1.13. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and he has transferred us into the kingdom of his son in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. You have redemption through his blood. It is through the blood of Jesus, the forgiveness of sins. You've been redeemed because of the blood of Jesus Christ. There is no power that's going to be able to match the blood of Jesus. There's no insight that's going to become against and stand against the wisdom and the plan in the inside of the Lord. I don't care how much they may try. I don't care how they may try to overthrow and overpower and depower and disempower the Lord our God. I, you can't do it. They can't do it. They can't because, oh Jesus, come on. He's the one that created all things. Come on, there's nothing in him that someone can outdo or outwit because he is the all-present, all-powerful, all-knowing God. All-present, all-powerful, and all-knowing God consisted before time. Come on, before the creation of time. Always was and always will be. Soon coming king so therefore that's why when you hear different reports and different things that are happening what that should cause us to do is fall to our knees to pray come on if my people who, who are called by my name will humble themselves if, if they will seek my face right if they will pray right that's our job that is our job so what it should happen don't don't allow tactics don't allow uh, different things that come up to cause you to fear instead let it cause you to pray. No fear, but pray. We're not going to fear. Instead, we pray. We stand in the gap. We stand and we pray. We pray for our, our, our brothers and sisters in the Lord that some of them have been deceived. Some of them are walking in fear. Some of them have taken the bait. They've drank the Kool-Aid. Some of them are walking in fear. They don't. They are literally afraid. Some of them are just, you know, and, and we pray for, we pray for the world. We pray for our president. We pray for God's appointed man in the office. We pray, we pray for our senators. We pray for our governor. We pray for our police. We pray for our law enforcement. Why? Because they need our prayer. The word of God tells us to pray for these elected officials, that we are to pray for them, for the spirit of the living God to fall afresh upon them. And we do that right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we ask right now, we lift up, Lord God, we lift up all of those and governing authorities right now. We lift up the president, Father God, all the way down, Lord God. We lift up, Lord, our governors, our Senate, our judicial system. Father God, we lift up right now our police. Lord God, we lift up right now our first responders. We lift them all up, our vice president. We thank you, Father God, for sustaining them. We thank you, Lord God, that you are increasing, Lord God, that the word of God is going forth, that they're going to hear the word of the Lord. This is the way, walk in it. This is the way that, Lord, you will be that voice behind them, that, that sound behind them. This is the way. Don't go to the right or the left. This is the way. Father, fill them. Fill them with dunamis power. Let the Holy Ghost right now direct and redirect wherever it's necessary. Direct and redirect. But we thank you, Father. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. We thank you, Father God. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. We stand on the all-powerful present word of God. And we also lift up churches, church leaders. We thank you, Father God. Let faith arise. Let faith arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father God. We're going to praise our living God. We're not going to bow to Caesar. We're not bowing to anything else. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ and we'll stand firm on his word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we also lift up our families right now. We lift up our children and our children's children. And we thank you, Father, for them. We thank you, Lord God, that they are blessed beyond measure. We decree it. We decree they're blessed beyond measure. And we're going to stand firm right now that, Lord God, they're going to they're, they're going to fear God. That's it. They're not going to fear what man can do. They're going to fear God. And we decree that they're going to fear the living God. And they're going to give their lives fully, holy, 100%. That they walk and they live and they talk with the Lord. They, they live and they move and they have their being in Christ. In in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you said you hold all things together by the power of your word, by the power of your word. All things, all things are being held together. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord our God, the one who was and is and is to come. All right, church of God, I bless you. Have an awesome, awesome day. Remember to share the videos. Remember that we are live every morning at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. And we are live on Periscope. So there are multiple ways you can be watching. And we are just getting the word of God out. God is good. He is faithful. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.